Hello all, welcome back. So this session is going to be on arithmetic operators. So I'll be teaching about various operators. One of the operator is arithmetic operators in Python. Okay, Python supports seven different types of arithmetic operators. So let me name them. Addition operator, subtraction operator, multiplication operator, division operator, modulus, exponentiation and floor division. Floor division. So there are seven arithmetic operators which are supported by Python. Okay, so in Python programming, there are seven different arithmetic operators. So what are the operators used? For addition, it is plus, the normal mathematical operator. For subtraction, it is minus. For multiplication, as usual, it is multiplication, star symbol. So when you are uh, using the keyboard, you have to press shift key followed by eight to get the star multiplication operator. Okay, and uh, division forward slash. Okay, it is forward slash modulus. It is percentage symbol exponential exponentiation uh, double star symbol star star floor division double forward slash. Okay, I'll tell you the difference later by taking an example. Okay, first one. Let me teach you arithmetic operator. Okay, so let me take a value as uh, 3 a value is equal to 3 B. I'll take it as 2. Okay. So, what is the uh, mathematical operator? It is plus, right? So, uh, I can write print directly. I can write print A plus B. I can write print A plus B. So, what is happening here? I'm printing A plus B. I'm not putting within double quotes. If you note down here, I'm not using single quotes or double quotes. If you use double quotes or single quotes, what will happen? See, I'll just change print single quote A plus B. Let's check what is the output we are getting. Okay, I'll run. See, I'm getting the output A plus B. The string that is represented within the quotation marks will be displayed. Okay. So, if I want to print the actual value, what should I write? I should write just write the expression A plus B. Write only the expression here. Okay. So, print A plus B. That's it. So, let's check what is the answer. Let us run the code. See, you're getting answer as 5. 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay. So, this is the syntax in order to print the value of a plus b or i can write i'll write one more sentence statement print within double quotes the sum of two numbers is equal to okay comma i can write a plus b i can write the expression a plus b but it should be it should come after double quotes comma and a plus b okay i see the syntax here so sum of two numbers within double quotes it is a string okay comma a plus b so this will be evaluated and stored after printing the statement let us run the code see the sum of two numbers is equal to five got it so this is how you have to write the code while using the operator so we have started computation part okay the previous videos were we were only learning about the syntax now it is the computation part fine okay for subtraction Second operator is subtraction operator. Minus symbol as, as usual. Okay. So what should we do? Instead of plus operator, just give minus operator. I'll just give space. Okay. And let me run the code. It works. Even if you don't give space, even if you give space, it doesn't matter. Fine. So I'm getting the output as minus. So this is the subtraction operator. Okay. Now uh, let me move on to the third operator multiplication operator represented by stars shift key followed by uh, number eight if you press you will get this star operator this is used for multiplication okay instead of minus here i write star operator multiplication here come replace it with star okay now run the code 6 3 into 2 it is 6 fine so this is multiplication operator next one is division operator this is very simple these are very simple division operator forward slash just forward slash okay you should not get confused between backslash and forward slash okay see uh, backslash a straight vertical line when it is bent backward it is called backslash a straight vertical line bent forward is called forward slash so for division you have to use forward slash okay so here forward slash I'll use forward slash here, run 1.5. See, if you see the result, 
it has been displayed in floating point value right it is not integer integer means whole numbers which means you will not have decimal point values after the decimal point okay point of the values after decimal point will be truncated it's called truncated okay let me write the word here truncated okay truncated means after decimal point it will be ignored okay that is truncation part but when you use division one single slash division operator it will display all the floating point values also okay if i write 7 and b value as a 3 let's check what is the answer we are getting so you get answer in floating point value okay this is division operator fine next i'll teach you about after division and move on to the last one the floor division then i'll come back okay so that you will know the difference i'll use double forward slash it's called floor division okay double forward slash floor division see what's happening what is the difference single slash forward slash i got this answer right when i run the code what happened the same answer 2.333 it was recurring number what happened after the decimal point the numbers were truncated i got only the rounded off answer so floor division will give you only the integer part single division will give you the truncated part okay i'll use single division here floor division will give you the truncated part single division will give you the floating point values okay similarly if i use double forward slash 2.33 for the same number double forward slash see the output 2 right so this is the difference next after division let me move on to the fifth one modulus operator so what is modulus operator percentage shift number 5 if you give it is modulus operator fine coming here i'll take 73 as usual modulus model operator so division operator will give you the quotient right modulo operator will give you the remainder understand remainder okay suppose i take 6 followed by 3 what is remainder 3 divided 6 divided by 3 3 twos are 6 remainder is 0 right so i'll get the answer as 0 okay similarly when you use division what is the answer we will get we will get 2 2 as the answer it is the quotient the answer is 2 in floating point okay whereas if i use floor division check you'll get only 2 point zero you will not get you got the difference okay model operator will give you the remainder six divided by three it will give you the remainder okay now i'll give seven seven divided by three what is the remainder one correct so model operator will give you the remainder the next one sixth one the last operator i already taught you exponentiation okay double star it's represented by double star so all uh, uh, i've already taught you this last one seventh one floor division so let me complete with the sixth one exponentiation okay now what will happen suppose i'll write two here two b value two a value two b value three okay i'll use double star in single star will represent it is a multiplication operator now i'm using double star so what will happen in double star it is equal into power of two to the power of three 2 to the power of 3. What is the answer? 2 into 2 into 2. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8. I have to get the answer as 8. Now let's check. Okay, 8. So it is not the sum. Okay, so I hope you understood the operator's concept. Thank you.